put up TGIF. Happy today. Friday, everybody. Uh, I'm really excited. It's Friday. Two I'm excited Ooh, about today's Manny, but I'm on the it. fence. So, um, what I should be careful about do. Well, I know what I can do with stamping, but then I'm like, maybe I should use my neon pigments, like on black or something. Yeah, the question did y'all do anything? You see any, any, not you. Oh, we'll see. Or hear any of good morning. My name is Tara. Yeah, Welcome to the Daily Nail. This is my weekday Daily I Nail show. I don't remember. So, I wasn't focused on what I what was on the show. Pulling up but the live so I can see comments. No, sir, I did not. I already have my peel base on. Um, I'm just waiting for it to dry. If you don't know what it is, peel base. The kind uh, I use is a water drink, base, and, and it's, it's like a barrier between, uh, in my case, test. jelly tips. But uh, if you wanted to do it on your natural nails, you could put it on your natural uh, nails and then do your mani, uh, like gel polish uh, mani, your dip powder mani, and you're able to pop it off really easily without having to soak off or file off. Anyway, today, I, I well, this is what I've been using. It's Luxie Nails Dip Enabler Peel Base. I think it retails for $8, but you can save with code TARA15. Yes, sir. So somebody, either two people or one person with two guns, was at large at that point as far as y'all were We're going to do a Halloween Manny to yes, you guys. Uh, Cosmic Nails Manny. I'm using a dip I just bought this year, so I've never used it before. It's called Spooktacular, and it's a chip glitter. Um, and it's got orange, green, purple, and black. All the Halloween colors in there. It's pretty cool, right? Morning, Patty. Oh, you're first. <laughs> so I think I'm going to use these three colors. I'm going to do thumb and index black, middle ring with the glitter, pinky with the green, and then I was going to stamp in green or orange on my black index finger. Or my other option, Patty, I need help deciding. Stamping, or what if I used my neon pigments like the green, purple, and orange? on black nails i think it would pop on black right just like how it does on white from the kennels tower might know i i was originally planning on stamping and the neon pigments came to me because of the colors i was using i was like oh i got pigments in those colors <laughs> what do you think hey what what did the doctor say yesterday about um you know Somebody up the reason the why he went oh i know i already up. took it off too so, that was a cute manny um, i love that about glitter about hello hello queen you know, it's called phone. i just have it's in like a mini jar but it's just a sample size <laughs> or i'd send you some pigment do you think they'll pop on black I think it's 204. The only thing is, what am I going to do with the pigment? I mean, the only thing I really know how to do with pigments is to do like abstract stuff. Um, you indicated the distance from the shoulder to the road, the shoulder of the road to the phone is about 15 to 20 feet. Yes, sir. All right, then I'm going to do my yeah, ring finger green, uh, my yes, ring sir. finger black instead. I'm going to swap it out. I'll do black on my index and ring finger, my pinky green, and my, uh, yes, sir, I was. I stayed uh, right next to the phone until Jeff, uh, especially black on my phone, thumb and ring finger, and this on my index and metal. I collected to possession of the, of the uh, cellular phone and placed it into an evidence bag. Okay, and that's what they um, said. There's that, nothing they can uh, do. Sort of so that's they, normal. Uh, Give me a break. No, sir, that that's not true. That's not normal. They didn't run any tests. No, sir. 
and the um, poor Brandis. Oh, makes me sick, like in my stomach when I think it's the last thing she needs. So, um, I already put my peel base on. Oh, I think it's dry too. It is. got the Alec Murdoch trial on again. Like, I've been watching it live, so each day I'm on, like, another day. <laughs> she said it's common. Really? So that doesn't sound like it normal to me. I don't know. Based off of this case, I'm gonna Google it. I remember after the live. Um, oh, my e file is coming today from Amazon, but it says by 10 p.m., so I have no idea what time it's coming. But I can't wait to get it, and I hope it lasts me a few years. Storage for a cellular device. And so if you. Anything you All right, let's get to dipping. No, so the pinky's really going to be green. Let's, let's do that right. now first. It depends on the network, uh, depending on the provider that you utilize. Um, different providers uh, offer different resources. You got a precision for, uh, tool, some, some lint-free um, wipes. I'm going to stir this with a cuticle stick, that, but that was super fluffy. Uh, never examined anything. It's not like I had it out and I was using it or something. Not on Maggie's. Oh, you didn't do Maggie's on That's correct. Okay, but somebody could look So this is going to be the only green now. And this dip I'm using is, so all the dips are from Cosmic Nails. This one's called Slimer, and it glows in the dark. It glows green. So it's a super cool one. And my discount code for you guys to save at Cosmic Nails is Tower 10. Kendra sent me a message this morning that they're in Virginia. They made it to Virginia is on Instagram. She like sent me a DM. 228. And that's what you saw when you came on the phone. I said, oh, I was just wondering about that. I think he pointed it out a while ago pieces of straw and other things around it. Right? She wants yes, to sir. twin. So it would she agree gets with me back. if someone had carefully walked over and placed this phone, there wouldn't be anything above it. Everything that the straw would be under it, correct? It's possible. Yes. Okay. Um, and in addition to that, did you, uh, did they, anybody forensically um, So Patty, that was the manny you did last night when you posted footprint. this morning? Very the pretty. Every tree, every wooded, uh, a lot of leaves. There, you could not see any foot impressions around that thing. Okay. A lot of leaves. Yes, sir. And so, okay. is this sitting? I mean, when it's sitting. Now I'll dip the two nails that are going to be ground. black. So I need a cupcake liner though, because I only have a sample. And this is called blackjack. It's cosmic, uh, cosmic's, uh, cosmic's uh, black. Centimeters. Uh, nothing major. Uh, and I'm nothing pretty sure I remember no staining last time. Pushed up uh, leaves or anything like that. Um, so you couldn't, I mean, uh, strike that. Okay, let's look at. We'll definitely have to use some of the green pigment because, sure, um, it will look good right next to the green now, hopefully. Okay, so um, again, that's another picture taken by you of the same phone in the same location, correct? Oh, uh, yes, what the one you did that you and Manny right? today? Uh, yeah, yes, and it's, uh, well, hopefully it does go away on its own, but I'm bushes surprised they would no bushes just be like well, whatever <laughs> about it. And underbrush. And underbrush, yes, sir. Okay. So I thought that would mean something's wrong, you know? 
Nobody actually took measurements of where this was found. Still a little wet. No one actually okay. measured from the from the road, nor did they measure. Um, no, no. There's no way to figure out exactly. If you had to go back today and find the spot, could you find it? The exact spot? Uh, within a couple of feet, yes, sir, I probably it's supposed to be in the low 70s today, today, but it is overcast. But you couldn't give us the exact spot, right? I couldn't give you an exact step or step. Like it, it would be dark uh, in this room if the light was off. Okay, this is exhibit number. But it's nice and cool right now. It feels good. I have the window open next to me. It's a vehicle on the same Are side you at home, Patty? What are you doing? Road. As where the found phone want to hop on and live with me, and so come live with me right now. This photo, the driver's side, although if you're not doing your nails, that would be kind of silly, I guess. The driver's side window would be 15 to 20 feet from where that phone was, correct? I would add a few more feet just because of the roadway. Uh, Yes, sir. Okay. You have so 28 to 30, 25 to 30 feet. So I'm freaking out because that would be very yes, my anxiety so medicine. For no some reason that it. they like were, so if that they ordered it and they were waiting for it. And then two Alina, days later, I got a message yes, saying that they the were reaching out to my doctor to find an alternative. Uh, on the right line of like, the what is going on? Right here, it's it's, it's right. like a regular medication that. Sure. Is there like a shortage or something? Like Maybe what's going on? Head on would they not? That is, yes. Okay, that's the point. You would be and the, the vehicle on the road I can't take Xanax line. because it interacts so with other medicines I'm on. On this road. And they wanted to get rid of that phone. Um, they would um, either have to throw it. Oh, you are Patty. Okay. What are you doing? Pull over this car has and throw it out. Correct. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the rest of this dip and I'm gonna lay flat into it for our second layer. It's it's it's, just assume with me for a second that they want to get rid of that phone by throwing it out the window. They could either throw it from their lane of traffic if they're going towards Elmina, or they can pull over like that and throw it out. It'd be easier when I say easier. Um, it'd be a much tougher toss that far in from if they never left their lane of traffic, correct? Guess it depends on who's throwing it. This me, is a multitude me, of things. Me. It'd be me, and I I don't throw very well. No. Well, I do, so I would I would I could one hundred percent make that throw. You could I throw do. it from okay, so we wouldn't even have to change lanes; just throw it out the window. Yes, sir, one hundred percent. And you would. Um, Throw it overhanded or underhanded? I'd throw it sideways. Flick it. Side, sideways, okay. Um, okay. Okay. So, there's no way to tell. Right, let's do the second dip on we our thumb. Coverage is great on this step. I mean, out of the driver's side window. Are you throwing it with your left hand? Or right hand? Out the driver's side window. I mean, you said you could toss it pretty far. I would throw it with my left hand from the driver's side and could easily land it to where it actually was found and located in the, in the woods. But you still, you're right handed or left handed? I'm right handed. Oh, you're grocery you shopping? You throw it with your left hand with that much power. Do you have yeah, like a big name grocery store in town? Okay. Um, now, How far away is town from where you, you live? Put it in, or somebody with you wanted to put it in airplane mode, right? Hey, yes, sir. I wanted to uh, be placed in airplane mode to preserve its contents. Because in airplane mode, less chance of any data being overwritten, right? That is correct, yes, sir. Now, that doesn't prevent all data from being overwritten. Those are good. Most data, correct? A lot, 99%, uh, I would say, uh, prevent any, any issue with the phone. Does it prevent GPS data okay. from being overwritten? From another device? No. I mean, just internally, just I never I'm even brushed off my green now, apparently. I've never seen that. Happen. All right, so getting there. Presumably, no. So you need to put an No, we'll use spectacular chip glitter. From another device that had access to its 22 miles. It's not that bad. 
Yes, sir. I, I know you're not going to buy eggs. You have to be able to open the code. No, sir, you don't. No, not on the iPhone, no, sir. You can put it on um, airplane mode without. Yes, sir. Open. Well, but but did somebody, did, what did you need the passcode for? Because somebody called got the passcode. We did not get the passcode at that point in time. No one knew we had oh, located the phone, so there's no reason to ask for a passcode to put it in. All right, so we're going to put this stamp on the index and middle finger. I'm going to start here at the middle now. I was not present. Uh, I did not analyze the device. So was it at the, at the scene or was it somewhere else? I do not recall. I was not there. Okay, let's pour over. This is a super cute glitter for Halloween. So no one um, told you that I was hurt on I just want to paper. press them down. They're like, almost like... No, sir, no one told me that. Uh, almost like... Um, phone, uh, they could go in that phone and Eliminate kind of delete text messages, phone calls. Just Almost like little pieces of clay or something. I'm not sure have. what they're made out of. They could have, but once the full file system extraction was done, uh, but look how good the coverage is, just one dip. Oh, good morning, Tara. I'm sorry you didn't get notified. I'm doing a cosmic Halloween manning. Somebody threw it on the side but of the I was trying to decide what to do if I was going to stamp on my black now. But I think I'm going to use my neon pigments. Will they pop on black like they do on white? Like I'm thinking it will. Typically, you can't open it, correct? No, sir. You agree with me? I didn't. Okay, I'm sorry. So if you had that passcode, you could open it, delete photos. Please but I can't draw or anything, text. so I'm just going to have to want, yes, do abstract um, silly lines and so and dots and stuff. You, um, found that I'm not going to do flowers, which yes, is like sir. the only other thing I can draw. And, um, was there any evidence that you saw that anything had been deleted? Oh, Patty saying hi to you, your, Tara. Um, after your download. Extraction. Again, I did not download uh, or extract the, the contents of the device. Happy Friday, uh, the ladies. And made sure that the airplane and was out to get, uh, there's no out school out. on uh, Monday. Uh, I'm not going to take, there will not be a live on Monday because um, it's um, Autumn Fest weekend here in our city. And Monday they have a parade. And I'm pretty sure we're going. So. Plus, Autumn Fest goes on. It starts on Friday night. I think Sunday, one of the days, it's going to rain. Um, but it goes from Friday night through Monday. Um, like vendors and food trucks, live music, entertainment like that. Um, there's fireworks on one night. Um there was rides and games. Yes, Three days after the murder, correct? Yes, sir. And if I have white under them. So what would happen if I just put them on black now? Uh, at some point uh, after you were involved in the investigation, you're informed by Solicitor This glitter tower is Solicitor called Spectacular. To stop, correct? It's got yes, orange, sir. green, purple, and, and black in it. It's pretty cool. Yes, sir, again, not in response to a matter raised by me on And Mr. Harpootlian asked about uh, the crime scene in the state when you got out there, correct? Yes, sir, he did. All right. uh, did you notice any vandalism? No, sir, not at all. Did you notice, uh, were you informed or did you notice anything missing? 
grab a plastic bag. Actually, these won't the stick to my finger, I don't think, so I'll just press Ooh. them down. I knew Maggie's phone was missing, and that's it. Okay. But you notice any other any vandalism or anything? Else? No, sir, no at all. Okay. All right. Uh, and... Uh, when it comes to Maggie's phone, we Tara, this is one of her chip uh, glitters. Are you aware whether uh, that can be placed in airplane mode without the unlock code being entered while the phone is locked? You can place the phone, that phone, in airplane mode while it's locked, yes. Okay. So you don't need a code to just simply put it in airplane mode, correct? No, sir. That, that's all okay. Right. And uh, did anybody manipulate anything? Any on it it may not be as bright. Well, I have white pigment powder. I guess I could put it underneath it, right? Okay, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to take a 10-minute break, ladies and gentlemen. Please do not discuss the case. Taking a ten minute break. Good enough. From lunchtime on June the eighth, two thousand twenty one. So June the eighth, the day after the murder took place. <laughs> yes. And what did you do when you got out there? Do you guys have any plans for the weekend? Myself and uh, Special Agent Croft were... Nick's like, great, Autumn Fest, because he just thinks about ha uh, having to spend money. So we stopped and got out. Did you, um, what were those people up to? There had been a phone located on the side of the road. So and I found out yesterday that he's been paying the rent the whole time. And he Can sent them this big, long message about, you know, we'd be willing to work with them. Uh, yes, so once we got out of the Staying car, here. Um, Captain Neal retrieved he, the phone um, from What else did he say to him? I don't know, but he sent a big, long message, and he got no response. And then they got the rent, and they sent a message him and said they got the rent. A picture of it. Um, the phone call. Was Captain Neal receiving? Oh, he time? said that we needed more time and in. stuff like that in the uh, message, that and and that's what we got in response. Nothing. That point, investigator Hightower asked Hi, Janet. Mode, which I, did. I was wondering where you were so yesterday. The point of you putting um, the passcode into that phone to confirm that the passcode we were given. I'm doing a cosmic nails, Manny. To confirm that was I think I'm gonna use yes. my neon pigments on the black when nail. Maybe call, both nails, but I'll say. Did you delete any calls? I did not. Did you delete any text messages? I did not. Did you alter any data in that phone? I did not. Pressing me is pretty hard. Immediately? Yeah, as soon as it opened, you know, the screen clears to show that that is the right passcode. I immediately locked it back. Okay, there we go. And then what happened to the phone as far as you know? Uh, Captain Neal, who was standing right beside me, took the phone back. Now I'm going to use Cosmic Nails right, Ultra Clear what else did you do? to encapsulate. So once I arrived on scene, uh, myself and So this is Slimer. It goes green. Main house. This is Blackjack. Uh, and this is know. called, um, sorry, I forgot the name already. Oh, Spooktacular. Was that search warrant executed? It was not. Why not? Oh, at nice, time, Janet. That right, must have been good. Close friends were at the house. Did you guys go out for breakfast? And displacing Hi, Michelle. All of those people. We asked for consent and we were given it. And we're a lot of Happy Friday. Friday. My favorite yeah. day of the week, you guys. All right, let's encapsulate these cosmic the nails. Dips. You don't want to have to ask all those people to leave. Some of them were very upset and we thought it was better to simply ask for consent. Tell us what you found in the search of the house. So upon consent, I walked through for weapons and, and ammunition and observe it to anything else that may have been of value. I found nothing. And once I came back downstairs to the gun room, Agent Croft had located several items of interest. Maybe I could write out the word boo the dose, on my ring finger going sideways. Um, let's go back to your search a little bit. 
when you walked through the house, were you alone? I was not. Who was with you? I, I thought about Murdoch stamping again with my coat. neon pigments, right? But the colors I'm going to be using, like green, purple, and orange, is not really a good way to ombre any of those. You know what I mean? Like, I think they'll just blend and look ugly. Did you search any other places? We searched bathrooms, tubs. Um, so I might just do some kind of abstract where, thing. Where holiday decorations were stored. We looked in there, or I looked in there, and we didn't we didn't locate anything of value. Did you look anywhere that you thought there could be a long gun? Yes. You guys, got any thoughts on that? On what I should do with the neon pigments? How I should use them? You said you were oh, it sounds nice, uh, Janet. I hope you guys had a good time. You mentioned that um, Agent you guys seem like you have a good relationship. Weapons and some ammunition. Yeah. You enjoy spending time together. Uh, That's that good. The, um, oh, the cool thing about these chip down glitters down too is that eagle, that they're the same color the, uh, inside. So if you file into them, rifle. it's not yeah. going to ruin the look of and them. Some various ammunition. Yes. And what did you do with, with those items? And she has so other chip glitter dips, too. Got she's got Cowabunga. We took them back she's got so one called, is it Now You See Me? Or? And I receded those items to her. So I forget. It's like a camouflage one. She did. I don't know. Maybe she's got, like, maybe four or five chip glitters. Do you recall um, at some point speaking or being present in an interview with um, Buster Murdoch. I was. And was any evidence collected during that interview? Yes, we asked him for um, consent to do a buckle swab and also consent to look at his cell phone. There we go. I'm going to say If you could tell me what that exhibit appears to be. This appears to be the buckle swab from Richard Alexander Buster Murdoch Jr. Collected June 10th, 2021 at So how's everybody doing today? You guys are kind of quiet so far. Now, did you collect this for yourself? I did not. Who collected Lieutenant Charles. Yes, yeah, so if anybody that. joined Lee, Autumn Fest is this weekend. It's like the oh, biggest well. thing they How do in our city. Collect this swab? Um, a buckle swab is so swabs. He opened them from the I'm sure we'll be going to that. I at least want to go see the fireworks because they the, the fireworks are better at Autumn Fest than they are on the Fourth of July. <laughs> I think they use more. Of, they have more of a budget or something. Yes. All right. This time I'll move states exhibit two seventeen into evidence. Activate. Okay. Cosmic nails, Janet. The green is slimer. It glows green too. The black is blackjack. And the chip glitter is called spooktacular. You were present when the phone magnifying was recovered, correct? Yes, sir, I was. Look, one of these pictures of rubber glove. That's your hand, correct? Yes, sir, it is. And um, yeah. are you aware when you got that call with the? Um, Looks good. I don't think I got any John glitters John on my Marvin, black nails. I consider that a giant success, ladies. Um, are you aware that that passed? <laughs> no, sir. I was not aware of that. And who gave it to you? Captain so I've been brewing my espresso now, in the Keurig because I have one of those reusable Keurig K-cup things. It's the morning of the 8th. <coughs> it would have been the afternoon. Brewing it into a cup. You went through the entire house. And then yes, heating so out a half a cup of eggnog. And then pour the cup, pour Three, the espresso four, into that. Okay, but you went through every one of them. It's yeah. almost as good as my eggnog lattes. Thank God she gave me the Keurig because literally at the same time my espresso maker 
stop first off it stopped steaming and frothing milk so i just bought a milk frother if it was there and i dropped it and it broke so we bought another milk frother and then i dropped it and it broke again different one but same thing happened just one one fall to the floor um and then my espresso machine stopped even brewing coffee. So I'm like, that's it. You're gone. Once I got that Keurig, I was so excited because I didn't know what I was going to do. Drink regular coffee? showers or tubs were in any way swabbed or checked for blood. Yeah, I knew Invisible. That's the one that that is the camouflaged one. And I want candy. Yes, I have I want candy. I think that's just a glitter, though. It's not a chip glitter. Cowabunga is a chip glitter. But I want candy. Does have candy pieces? In it. I have it. Yeah, it's right here. And you're telling this jury that you saw no evidence of blood. Well, here's Cowabunga, probably my favorite chip glitter. I love the colors in that. Oh, it fell. Hold on. Yes, sir. There's nothing. Sorry. And you're the only one that happened to by sweat. As far as I'm aware, yes, sir. Um, did you search the bedroom? Yes, I, I want did. candy. Find any yeah, it's not clothes, a chip glitter, but it's anywhere. gorgeous glitter. It's got sure. black uh, fine glitters and lots of iridescent glitters. And my swatch doesn't even have a candy piece on it, but they look like a round piece of candy with like almost like a bow. You know what I mean? They're twisted at the end. Any clothes, shoes, any evidence of clothing that would have blood on it or Indicated had blood on it. Can I anything that you saw in any of the bedrooms? How many bedrooms? Oi, okay. Several. Several. You looked at all of them. Yes, sir, I did. Looked under the bed? I did. In the closets? I did. See any evidence of any clothes? Oh, you do, Janet? Uh, involved in any Did you do a full hand or did you, how'd you use that? Tissue or brains. You see anything like that in any one of those rooms? No, sir, I didn't find anything like that. So, all right, so I'm going to use my neon pigments on the black nail. Tara says um, it'll be brighter if there's white underneath it. So I have like white pigment, Thank you. like my set came with. I was wondering, like, why are they sending me white? But maybe this is why. So we'll use the white pigment underneath the colored pigment. But I want to try to incorporate green, orange, and purple. And maybe I'll just do like... Emma, we're gonna have you... If I could do three thin, thin stripes over here and then yeah. maybe three, and three thin to stripes. That's yeah. almost like a tongue twist. You three, th I don't think I can do it. Three you know, thin stripes. There we go. You try saying it. 30s. One, one two, three or something. Or... To discuss the case to... Or we just do lines going up, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know what I mean? But they got to be thin. So I'm going to have to use like thin brushes and not um, eyeshadow applicators. And we can have each line go up, you know, different heights. We'll do that. Let me see what... What brushes would be good to use? Liner brushes? Probably, huh? These are all liner brushes on one end and dotting tools on the other end. We'll leave those out for right now. Continue with the 404 with Yes, sir, you're Melon baller and pineapple party. Oh, okay. Oh, those are good choices, I'm Janet. calculated by about 30 minutes, so I apologize. The witness is close by. Can you give me one moment, please? Did I tell you guys that my e-file shit the bed, too? I don't, some of you might know, but I was filing during a live the other day, maybe four days ago. And um, 
it died. So I just figured the battery was dead. So I plugged it in on my kitchen counter to charge and I let it charge overnight. And the next morning it was still only at the first bar. So I switched the chargers and it charged up, but like three different times while it was charging, it turned on by itself and the thing was shut off. So when I went over there, you know, you can't shut it off. So I would turn it on and then shut it off and then it would stop, but then it wouldn't turn back on again. So I unplugged it, tried turning it on, nothing. So it just totally died. I've had it for a few years, but still, like, I don't know. Shouldn't it still last me? I don't want to spend $100. I don't have $100 to spend. So anyway, so I bought one for $42. It's really cute. It's coming today by 10 p.m. It's from Savaland, you know, that brand, nail brand. It's like aqua, and then it goes into pink, maybe? I forget now, but it's cute. It's like an ombre one. Yeah, and it was $42. Like, so I guess I, I'll pay, like, mid-grade. I'm not going to buy, like, a $20 e-file, but... And if I had the money, I would spend maybe even 60 bucks, you know, but I'm not buying one that's like a hundred or over a hundred. <laughs> and I just got lucky that I had the money to even buy it, but that was my e-liquid money. Hold on, quartz on break, let's fast forward. All right, there we go. What you've been using is that a legitimate force consulting account? Absolutely not. Did any of that money that went into that account go to legitimate force? No, sir. Did force consulting have anything to do with that particular account? No, sir. Let me uh, show you a couple of things real quick. What are you guys doing this weekend? It's Columbus Day weekend. There's no live Monday, okay, guys? Dominic's got the day off from school. The parade is, there's a parade Monday in our city that we'll probably go to. And Autumn Fest goes through Monday, so we usually go to the parade and then go to Autumn Fest if he has any tickets left from, like, whenever else we went. Whatever uh, night we went. Any money that went into that account, did it have any legitimate relationship to the services and business that y'all provide? No, sir, none at all. I don't think I shaped this at the free edge. Anyway, the e file I bought, it's in my Amazon storefront. If um, you see that check right there, I do. You guys are interested or just want to see it. <laughs> Although you'll be seeing it plenty, I'm sure. I'm so mad because I almost bought one like a few months back just to have a backup. And I didn't. And now here I am having to go all week without one. I was lucky I was able to get my nails off. Bank of America DBA, Richard Murdoch DBA forge account that he just testified is not a legitimate forge account. I'm going to be more careful with the words. We are not contesting that issue for purposes of this hearing. That's correct. I don't want anything coming back. Loving these medium length stilettos to you guys. I went to this particular account and did 
purposes of this hearing alone, I think that's acceptable to the state. Yes, sir. Right. It's so stupid. There you go. Yeah. We're not contesting that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not contesting. Hmm. No, Janet, no plans for um, Columbus Day. Yeah, it's not really a weekend like people have cookouts or anything like that, right? Especially who wants to celebrate Christopher Columbus now that we know the truth. Real quick. 327. They don't even call it that anymore, right? Didn't they? Um, or at least some states officially changed the name. To something to do with Native Americans, which I think is awesome. Three twenty-five is that legit? Like at least they deserve. Three twenty-four is that legit? That's what I'm saying, Michelle. I know, right? You know, I use my, I don't use it a lot, but I use it every day. You know what I mean? Um, and I use it on my toes too. So. It's been hard having to just do everything for, for removal with the hand legit? file. That's what I mostly use it for is removal. Is that I am prepped, too. And that's another thing. Like, I had two legit? nails I had to replace. And all I could do was, like, push back the cuticles and, like, uh, dehydrate them and put legit? primer on. You know what I mean? There was nothing else I could do because... I don't have an e-file. And finally, 311, is that legit? No, sir. And by asking you not legit, did you just look at the checks on those various exhibits? I did. And all the ones that had work on them from the client trust account. Those so, are yeah, I'm mad that, that I didn't buy a backup. No, sir. This is my third e-file, like, good one. I first started with just, like, a $20 handheld wand. You know what I mean? That was my very first e-file I got, just a cheap one. Because I didn't know how much I was going to get into nails, you know. Your Honor, I believe that's uh, all the questions after this witness is through. Right. Just really quick. Uh, in any, uh, at any time, did uh, you ever hand deliver any checks right. to Alec Murdoch for related business? No, sir. Right. And would that work? I would never. I would not be delivering any checks. The the only time that I would ever deliver a check would be made out to someone other than Forbes. You would never make a check payable to us. Um, you never never had any legitimate business where I was like, hey, I'm gonna be in town. I'll, be, I'll come by and pick up the annuity, the check for the annuity. Or no. Uh, nothing further for uh, purposes of this hearing. Uh, that's briefly, Your Honor. Yeah, I don't think we're going to end sure up going that. apple picking this year. I don't think we're going to make it because Dominic went to Six Flags last weekend. The weekend before that, it, was, it rained all weekend. And now this weekend is Autumn Fest. So. Bank of America and Alec Murdoch doing business as Ford. Did you see the name Maggie Murdoch or Paul Murdoch? I wonder what he's going to be for Halloween this year. He hasn't decided. He has no idea. That Maggie Murdoch or Paul Murdoch has anything to do with this account. No, sir. He's yeah. super excited for the Five Nights at Freddy's oh, movie yeah, coming out on October 27th. Uh, did you ever sell any life insurance to Alec Murdoch on the life of Maggie Murdoch? Nick and yeah, him and um, our nephew, uh, Anthony, uh, well, and his dad, Sam, I think, are going to go before them to see it. Anything further? Okay. Let me call your next witness. Your Honor, State Calls Chris Wilson. I'm sorry, Your Honor, he's downstairs. There we go. Right away. Oh, I want to smooth this some more.
right, those are pretty good. All right, I'm excited to get to the nail art. I hope this works out for us, guys. I just got to buff real quick. He wants to see it. Dominic has been into Five Nights at Freddy since he was five years old. That's when he started watching the videos and stuff, you know. That's also when he started playing Minecraft. He wanted, um, what is it, the Wii U? Yeah, he wanted the Wii U so bad, and we got it for him for his fifth birthday. He didn't even know what it was when he opened the box. It was funny. Christopher Wilson, W I L S O N. I go by Chris. Mr. Wilson, you understand that we're here for an in camera hearing to determine uh, the admissibility of your testimony. I do. Right. You're a lawyer. And he has the switch That's now. And we were only able to get that because at the time, it's when I was working. Oh, I get the chills just from that oh, feeling and sound. It's like chalkboard. Nails on a chalkboard. I am since 1998. He's off. Describe very quickly your practice for the record. Actually, since 1995, I've had a practice. What's blue being for Halloween, Janet? Um, in the last 15 years, I've done primarily personal injury work, um, automobile accidents, people that are injured at work. I practice that cases, those things. Uh, and where is where do you where's your home base? My only office is in Bamberg. Um. Work. That's all I do anymore. For the last 15 years, that's really all I do. And uh, do you know the defendant? I do. And when did you get to know the defendant? I've known Alex since we were in high school. Uh, Bamberg and Hampton. I grew up in Bamberg, and they're only about 30 miles apart. And so uh, I knew of Alex and had been around him okay. some growing up. We had some mutual friends we got. Lot closer to some other guys in Hampton that I grew up playing golf and things like that with, but I would cross paths with Alec. Played on the same baseball team one summer, I think like our seniors in high school. All right, here's our um, Didn't really keep in touch with Let me him find the white one. Or cross paths with him until we ended up going to law school. It's right here. We uh, started law school together at Carolina. We did it together at law school and we were together all the time. We're yeah, definitely we gonna definitely going to need some brushes. We did. Become close friends? Very close. Best friends? Um, he was one of my best friends, yes. And I thought All right. Let me take these he out. was, and I thought he felt the same way about me. Feel that way now? I don't know how I feel now, Mr. Waters. Fair enough. Okay. Um, over the years, as you... Oh, this one's really that, short. Uh, plus mm. friendship with Ellen, did you also have a professional relationship as well? We did. Um... Uh, when I finished law school, I went to work in Greenville for a judge. All right, a wait a minute. I have um, to put Joe Bass um, down, Newport, right? Uh, to work with a law firm there. So we didn't, we see no each pat, other. No um, problem, Patty. I have to put Joe Bass down, right, guys? Uh, when I moved I back to so. Hamburg to start practicing where I had grown up, and he moved back to Hampton a couple years later, we started uh, doing a little bit more work together. And, this stuff doesn't bother me at together. all. This uh, I'm Lee really Hema free one. I opened up my own firm in 98. I think that's about the same time he had moved back to his firm. And it was a big Oh, I don't even know if I put gel base last time now that I think about it. And this is, working cases together, this has flakies together. all in it. Shoot. Uh, tell me, I gotta uh, take it off. For the record, uh, how that works when you, you're in a different firm than the firm he was at, correct? Yes. And so when two lawyers in different firms or three, however many. Yeah, is, what's Blue going to be for Halloween? What's he dressing up as? If, if there's a successful recovery. Oh, 
Well, it really all depends on the agreement that's reached up front between the lawyers and with the client's consent. Um, but generally, um, all the cases that I work with his firm and, and with most firms I do business with, it's a it's a 50-50 split on the fee recovery, or at least an equal split, maybe if there's right. more than two lawyers. I forget if I need to put down Joe Base. It it's going to make it sticky. I'm going to try without it split. first. Um, on attorney's fees this recovery, finger, though, and, you know and, how I was telling you I had an allergic reaction. Fees. And sometimes this firm would advance. I, I just got alcohol on it and it is stinging had, uh, so bad right a now. number of lawyers bringing in more money than I was and could afford to handle some of the bigger costs. But it's kind of whoever got the bill paid the bill and then we reimbursed it again, whoever had advanced the cost. The client signs off on all of that. In, in those situations. All right, let's see if this is even going to work. Good way to call it. Yes, sir. Who handles the ultimate disbursement? How does that work? Um, whichever lawyer receives the settlement checks or the checks to pay whatever verdict or judgment. Because I used liquid last um, time, right? I, I can't say in every single How case. are you here? Firm, but, and having gone back through my files and audited my paperwork, it looks like in almost every single case that we work together, um, I, my, the, the disbursement, the money would come through to me and I would handle the disbursement. They were generally clients where I would associate his firm. They were my clients. They were people that had come to me and um, I wanted them to uh, I'm not sure, you know, guys, frankly know this. that I was the person that took care of them and and um, if they needed anything else, I could come back. And so I wanted to be the person handling that part of it also. All right. So if the money comes through you, then just mechanically, how do you go about paying Alex? All right. I'm going to try it with Joe Base. Money comes um, in. Uh, client has to come or maybe Matt? Or whatever it is, along with my firm. If it's made payable, it's generally made that payable to is. Wilson Law Group or Wilson Law Firm and the client. Um, Contaminated, client in, uh, uh, I endorse a check. We deposit that into my trust account. Um, if, if it has to sit under uh, Supreme Court rules, sometimes it has to sit for ten days or more. Okay. Um, some smaller checks don't. Um, once it's um, been in the account there long enough go. to be uh, able to be dispersed pursuant to our rules, then he um, hasn't said what he wants to dress up as. I asked my sister-in-law what our nephew uh, Anthony is going to be. He's the same age as Dominic, and he's super into Five Nights at Freddy's right now. And she's like, oh, yeah, he's going to be Purple Guy. And I'm like, Purple Guy? Purple Guy. I'm, she was talking about Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's, the rabbit, the bunny, <laughs> the purple bunny. All of my fee agreements and every lawyer I've ever worked with have a provision in there that the client understands that. Just going to cure this for 30 lawyer, seconds. But upon recovery, they're reimbursed or recovered right. by the lawyer. In a particular case where you're splitting a fee uh, and uh, there were, in fact, fees and costs associated with a successful recovery, it's uh, still going. Costs and expenses associated with a successful recovery. Are those issued in a separate hmm. check or a check together? Uh, when I first started, I I'm going to see if I can just put them on without the white because it's going to be difficult. Fees. Let's see how they look without the white. I want to use purple, green. And orange. A fee check and a separate cost check. 2020 and 2021, were you issuing those separate checks? Yes. Oops. Very quickly, without getting into the details, uh, did you have a uh, case in Allendale where you split it with Alex uh, in the early part of 2021? Yes, sir. Right. And ultimately, was there a recovery in that case? There was. And uh, it was actually three cases, but they were similar factually, and so we treated them as one case, but it was three separate, three separate plaintiffs, three separate cases. And hmm. did you and your office disperse the fees and the uh, expense check to PMBD? On all three cases, yes, sir. And those checks were made out to what? Uh, um, all three of the fee checks were made All right, this is hard. I don't know if we it's not like doing it with gel polish. We actually spelled out Peter's right on um, Parker Dietrich and Al Brawl, um, but PMBD. And generally, except for the Ferris case, which we'll talk about in a minute, sure. When you had those uh, fee splits uh, with Alec, were the checks made out to PMPED? Yes, they were signed by you? Yes, sir. And I, I'm the only person who can sign checks in the office. So. Well, and now, I had a partner at one time, but now I'm. All right, let's see if we can do it. 
Um, <clears throat> did you uh, have a case involving Mack trucks that involved Ellen? Yes, sir. And can you describe to the court uh, how you ended up getting that case and how you ultimately uh, associated Alec with that case? Sure. And you know, I've heard it referred to as the Ferris case of Mack trucks and Ferris. I'd rather refer to it as Mack trucks case. Um, uh, another lawyer had contacted me like about a case that he was working on. Um, felt like he had a, a wreck involving a tractor trailer on an automobile in which a gentleman was injured. All right. um, I think this I might work. He had already filed suit against the tractor trailer company and its driver and, and maybe another party. Um, started looking at the case for and with him. It involved a drive shaft that had fallen out of a, the green. a back, um, truck into the interstate and this gentleman had, and, and a number of other cars had hit that drive shaft and uh in looking at it and doing a little bit of research um i and he together realized that there very likely could be a products liability case involving a defect with the drive shaft of the truck or something like that so um so i reached out to Alec um and asked him if he could get involved in the case or would get involved in the case I and mean, that's what his firm specialized in a lot was products liability cases and we were pushing some deadlines to bring in all the parties that we needed to. And so I reached out pretty quickly because I knew we needed some help. And did he agree to get be part of that case? He did. Uh, as that litigation uh, proceeded, did y'all have, this is typical, some discovery uh, hearings, discovery motions and that sort of thing? Well, we had a number of them. I don't remember how many. I don't remember how many, but we had a number of different motions okay. and discovery that went back and forth, documents being exchanged, things like that. All right. And All right. Set up, uh, the it's a little piece trial. of green here I want off, but it's did, looking but pretty it's good, actually. Unusual. It wasn't a jury trial like is normally done in. in um, this could have been done cases. with Joe, um, too. It was a non jury Easier. trial right before circuit court judge with uh, an admission of liability. So um, I'll show you guys what this looks like now and what my plan is. And so. There was a all right. between the parties that neither party would appeal. So I got orange, purple, and then, uh, case, and then uh, green in the case, center. Like so I'm just going to go purple and orange, have, you know what I mean, on, uh, on the uh, other sides. Delay payment of the, the recovery until that appeal is heard and resolved. It can. Um, appeals you never know how long an appeal is going to take and so if the losing party the defendant the company that you're okay. seeing whoever it might be um decides to appeal they can tie the, the verdict up for a while if you win the appeal you're going to recover cost and interest so um you know that's the remedy but it can tie up money um for people that are injured that need that money did y'all ultimately try that case in a bench trial we did. Um, we county, had. Was it? Excuse me. Hi. It was in Richland County, Columbia. And when did y'all try that case? Uh, the first part of January of 2021. And. Uh, All right. Let's do the orange that? now up the side no. here. Uh, did y'all ultimately? There had been a concession of liability, so that the amount was really what was in question. Is that, is that correct? Yes, sir. And how many plans did you have? Um, there were actually two cases, and when we call it Ferris or the Mack Trucks case throughout all of this, but there were actually two cases. Um, the gentleman that was injured and then his wife, um, we brought a loss of consortium claim for her for um, the loss of, of companion services that she had lost from him. And just not to get too deep, to them, Mr. Ward, that her case had gone into default. In other words, Mack Trucks hadn't answered the papers like they should have. So they were in a really bad position on that case. And in the gentleman's case, they had answered, but we were discovering some things. Um, when we were doing some discovery, it was clear they didn't want us looking much, much further. And so that's why this deal, All right. everybody agreed to a, a non-jury trial without appeal with a waiver of punitive damages under the mission. Need some purple real quick. Them. We were in COVID and it was gonna take us a while to get the trial. So it worked out well for both parties and the result worked out well for us. And that's all now guys in litigation. Both sides kind of decide what's best and sometimes they can have a meeting of the minds. Yes, sir. All right. Was there ultimately uh, a verdict by the judge in that case? Well, two verdicts since two cases. Yes, sir. Um, I believe it was 4 million for the like injured. Like that, you guys? And 1.5 for the wife. I remember it was 5.5 combined, but I think it's more than 1.5. 
I think that's so cute. Fees break down to the best of your recollection that we're going to be split among the three lawyers involved. Um, there were. What um, do you think? Do you guys like this? Let me ask you this. Do you remember how much Alex shared? 792000 there, there was a, a larger split to the attorney. That Should I do it on the thumb the too? Alec was seven ninety two. The math didn't work out perfectly. I was seven ninety one, and the other attorney was. I'm gonna top coat this. Recognition of his origination. Yes, sir. Uh, in March of 2021, did you ultimately receive the monies and prepared for disbursement? Uh, yes, I believe it is. Uh, in late February. Oh, it's definitely first, harder to uh, see the purple uh, now. Wait at least 10 days. Part of the money came by a wire. Hmm. Which would have been kind of immediately available and accessible. It was I see what you mean, Tower. Now. Portion came in a check. And because it was such a size. Well, that kind of stinks. Uh, maybe 12 or 15, 15 days. Or so All right, let me cure it. And did you uh, have a conversation with the defendant about dispersing? Do it on the and thumb, too. I had a too. conversation with, with Alec and Hi. the other attorney I work on the case with when the fees and were ready to be. Okay, I will. What about that specific conversation with Alec? Did he uh, After I care this, I might go over it if I can. I don't know, to try and help out the purple a little. The green and the orange seem all right, they're bright enough, but the purple, because I think because it's a dark color to begin with, it kind of fades into the black. So maybe I can put some white under the purple lines. Or I need my vape. He indicated he was looking to do a structure by putting the monies into annuities and uh, the checks. Hola, to Clara. Directly to him. Um, that he had already cleared it with his firm. That the money's been there we go. Books and All right. Four. And, see, um, now you can't see the purple. Those monies. Based on his representations to you that he had cleared it with his firm, did you agree? But I wonder if it would even work. Um, I did. On a top coat, you know. That's too big. He has a small one. Let's try this one. I do. So this is the initial. All right, maybe we're going to put it, put it on all of them. Maybe. To him on the gentleman's case for fees made payable to Richard Alexander Murdoch Esquire for six hundred thousand dollars. This voided. Why was it voided? Um, because he uh, instructed me. Uh, put this white down underneath all of it. it was in the same conversation. In the See same if it comes out brighter. After, it must have been shortly thereafter that the um, checks on that case needed to be made in two separate check payments. He's doing two separate annuities. This is actually worse. <laughs> okay. Off. All right, so I think what I could do is put down another layer of base gel. Just to do those purple lines, maybe. Let's try it. I'm going to care for 30 seconds. Yes, sir. The first page is the. Check I'll do it on the thumb if I can get this ring finger done, Janet, right? That is on the 
lost a consortium case for the wife, and on the bottom, just like that, six hundred thousand dollar check that was voided. It indicates it was for fees. Um, I guess the other writing on here is maybe from my. Um, I'm just. I wonder concerned. if this year will be Dominic's really last year. Trick or treating. Looks like an endorsement. Um, pay the Bank of America deposit only. Looks like a signature um, Bank of America. Okay. And again, just I'm just asking the gentleman to see if you recognize that check. Yes, I do. Yeah, I recognize. All right, tell me the second check. This so, is the amount and what that's for. The second check is for two hundred twenty-five thousand right, dollars. This is going to work directly to Richard Alexander Murdoch Esquire. Um, it indicates on the bottom that it's for fees. This would be part of the rewrite of that six hundred thousand dollar check that had been voided. And then the third check is three hundred seventy-five thousand dollar check payable directly to Richard Alexander Murdoch Esquire, and it indicates these, and that would be the remainder, the remainder of the rewrite. Of All right, let's see. And those second two were rewritten. Why? At um, Alex's request, he had indicated that he was putting the money into two different uh, uh, vehicles or annuities, um, and needed the checks written out. Oh, I must put that in the white. That's pretty good. Right. What did you uh, do with those checks after you, uh, the three checks after you finally cut them? Um, obviously, I signed them, and at some point in time, I think Alex sent somebody up to my office to pick them up. I don't think I delivered them. Oftentimes I put checks in the mail. Sometimes when they're larger, I either offer to have them picked up or delivered. And I think he had somebody come pick those up from my office. Like a law firm runner or somebody like that? Something like that, yes, sir. I don't even think I was in the office when they picked it up. Okay. Uh, You've known Alex for a long time, right? Since the uh, mid, uh, yeah, since the mid eighties, earlier, yeah, mid eighties. Yes, sir. Worked with him for a long time. All right. Uh, and, uh, his explanation to you about what he was going to do does that raise any suspicion? I'm going to leave it like that. I can kind of see some. Well, right maybe I can fix it because I can kind of see some white people. It didn't now. raise any red flags or suspicious to me that anything wrong was going on. Because you trusted your friend, right? Very much. Okay, that's better. Was your what was your perception of Alex's general wealth and, and success? Thought he made a lot more money than I did. Um, always seemed to do well in his All practice. Right. All I ever heard is that he was one of the biggest producers in the firm. He, you know, it's I'm going to do one more layer of top coat now on it and too. cure it, and then we can get he into and the I fun. big cases together when I talked to the partners and other members of that firm. They were talking about big cases that they were handling with him. Um, felt like he did really well. There were we never got into direct discussions about the amount of money he made or the amount of money I, I made. We talked about, you know, sometimes business and sometimes money. All right. In the lamp. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes out. The purple definitely looks better. Is that part of the reason why your suspicions weren't, uh, didn't get, uh, didn't arise when you were asked to do this? When you uh, turned 12, you know what stopped me trick-or-treating? I trick-or-treated till I was 15. I was with my sister and our friend Chloe. They were both 14, I was 15. So I was in 10th grade, they were both in 9th. And we were trick-or-treating and we dressed up and we were having fun. We weren't like being bad or anything, you know? We just wanted candy. He was a partner in that firm. So... We, we were trick-or-treating, we ended up knocking on this one old lady's door, and she came, and she's like, aren't you a little old to be trick-or-treating? And then I was like, hmm, maybe I am. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sweating. So I'm wondering when Dominic's going to want to, I mean, I'll let him go. Well, pretty much, I'm not going to force him to stop, I guess. I think he'll want to stop on his own. So that's what it looks like, guys. What do you think? Here's Parker Murdoch, Ells Roth, and Dietrich for $14,619.13. I don't think on the bottom it says anything, but this was a cost reimbursement check on one of those two cases. 
and then the second check the colors are a little uh, off because, because they're on the black they, they look darker than the dip but all right so let's try some dip base i mean i'm sorry gel base Your uh, system is very legal at this point in time. Thermal, but Vicky is my primary thermal. Sure. Uh, at some point in May of 2021, your kids sure could treat it until they were 18. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know why that lady had to rain on our parade. You know what I mean? We were just out having a good time. She had received an email in May um, from LX Paralegal and Ed that said, hey, we got the cost check, but we don't have the fees. Where are the fees? And she okay. um, replied to that email to Annette and said, um, so I will green up the center. Like mine and the other lawyer. I didn't reply to that email. I didn't know about that email until all of this came out in September. Um, uh, of what was going on. Um, I didn't know about that reply email to Annette. Vicki did receive an email, another email from um, Annette. And as I recall, it was a email that Annette had received from Jeannie Sechinger. I'm just blowing Vicky off any loose um, pigment, you know. Sometime towards the end of May. Here. I think she had gotten it, but she was on vacation for a couple of days. And when she got back, okay. she forwarded it to me. And it was an email from Jamie Second. All right, then we'll go to purple. Something to the effect of Ellis that's all we got to do the white on there, huh? The case, had some questions about cost, and they were trying to um, get some information so they could determine if they were owed more cost. She did forward me that email. So I'm going to put white on either side of the green, just kind of like in a line. And I'm not looking for them to be perfect. I don't care. Especially because it's a Halloween, Manny, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Um, this looks like the email string where um, Jimmy the Chief Financial Officer of PMPED Anyway, because of the whole thing about my anxiety medication, Patty, that I was telling you. Yeah, I don't know if they're saying that there's a problem, like, um, they placed an order for my clonopin, and then, I don't know, they're having a hard time getting it, so they messaged my doctor for an alternative. I'm like, what? Like, this is a very common medication, you know what I mean? So I'm going to call the pharmacy today and find out what's going on. Cause it's been like six days. On June the 2nd, if she could get her some information. Like, is there a shortage or something? She didn't deal with some of the documentation they request. And so she would forward it. This isn't even straight. Cause I'm doing it sideways. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Orange. At this point in time, are Alex fees still in your trust account? No, sir. They were dispersed. Um, the check is March. I don't know the exact date, but they were dispersed in three separate checks in March. At some point in time, around this June 2nd, thereabouts, did you receive any uh, calls from Lee Coke? Hey. Um, I believe I had a conversation with Lee Cope. I was trying a case in Hampton um, the week before that, um, and I was in and out of their office. And um, I believe I had a conversation with Lee. That would have been like the week of May the 24th or some of those days in there. And I believe I had a conversation with Lee. He asked me all right. um, if all the money had been dispersed in the Ferris case. And I told him that I won't be doing a thumb shot of this man. <laughs> and we were holding money for some additional costs in case things came in. And um, 
he didn't ask me any further questions. He did not mention that there were any issues or concerns about Top the process. That's how you proceed back home with Coach. Well, what did you tell the coach? I told him I'd have to check into it. After that, did you reach out to the defendant? I did. Barely gotten any yellow on that side. Look how uneven it is. <laughs> it's not horrible, but it ain't very good. That's been forwarded to me by Vicky. Okay. Where your firm is saying that you believe you're owed more costs. Um, I put the calls down on the call sh on the disbursement sheet. These R's are so me. tiny. Um, I just stuck my finger in the lid of this one. We're holding some money. To deal with some medical bills and liens and with the client's consent we were holding some money in case additional costs come in sometimes costs are slow coming in and that's normal and um and if there's an issue just let me know um he said you know i'll check on it or there's not an issue or i'll check on it and i said hey this is the case that i disperse the fees to you you know per your request you stopped um, at 15 janet <laughs> yeah me too right that, that was my last year so you would never guess it, but do you know Patty, our Patty, was a fighter growing up? She would beat up the boys, you guys. She punched a guy and what'd you do? Break his jaw or something, Patty? Or was it a girl? Credit him as already having been paid, and they would account for that whenever or however they split up money. She crazy, you guys. To be clear, those funds were not in your trust account. They were gone. At that Good thing she settled down. March or whenever it was cash after I wrote them in March. Seven hundred ninety-two thousand dollars. Yes, sir. But she didn't care if you were Seriously. male or female. And she wouldn't just start with you for nothing. But if you did a wrong, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to mess with her. <laughs> I'll clean those brushes after. I'm going to activate my other nails and then we'll top coat them. After the few weeks after the murders, did you, uh, Oh, my colors don't match. Ooh. They're just not like bright enough for the other man for it. It's not bad, but you know, not what I had in mind. It's hard to see the colors on there, huh? Hopefully, I can get Everything brighten it up story. enough in pictures. I was focusing on that. I know I wasn't, but at some point in time after that, I just said, hey, is everything all right with the you know, contact? And I got it with those fees. He said it was. They almost look like flames. Okay. So, now that we put our second layer of activator on. And a month after the murder, Alan called you up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off any activator still on the nails. Important step. You don't want to be sad. I didn't see anything that caused me any red flags or anything. Okay. Felt like if that's what had to be done, that the fees had to be paid to his firm and needed to go back through my trust account, he could send me the money and I could run it back through right. my trust account and then pay it to Top his firm. Top coat time. Did, uh, so he's promising, he's saying, I want you to are like that back. too, Tara. And your daughter, well, your daughter just probably got it from you. <laughs> 600,000 of the seven. I've never gotten into a fight. So I received 600,000. I punched Nick a couple times, but I'm a horrible puncher. My punches don't even go where I want them to. I believe so, yes. And that was on on or about July. Okay, dip top coat for the win. Believe from Bank of America, yes, sir. That was only six hundred thousand dollars? Yes, sir. 
So you're short. I'm going to give these a minute uh, before going in with our second layer of top coat. Yes, sir. Did you have a conversation with Alec about being short? I did. And what was your conversation with Alec? He told me that he wasn't able to access the 192000 immediately, that he had already put it into the annuity, um, but he couldn't do it the way yeah, he wanted that's to, but he dark. couldn't access it because it would be penalized if it was withdrawn, and that, um, that he would give me the money. Tara, how tall are you? Are you you're short like me, right? I'm five one. Five one and a quarter. And at that point, um, I had an indication that but I'm sure I'll shrink as I age. My trust account that was supposed to have been paid to his firm. I'm responsible for that trust account. I put one hundred ninety-two thousand dollars of my own money in that trust account to cover the shortfall. So after um, you put your two layers of dip top coat on, you just want to let your nails sit for at least two minutes just to make sure everything is dry. Um, and then after two minutes, they should be. Um, and they'll be really, really shiny. Oh, I have pigment all over me. Oh, it's probably all over my shirt. Let me rest my finger, <laughs> my hand. Oh, you're five three. Lucky. I wish I was five three or five four or five five. Michelle, you're tall, right? Aren't you like five seven? How tall are you, Janet? Patty, I think, is tall too. In the lady's case, which represent a turn well, tall is anything higher than, than me. Five one. <laughs> Next five eleven. Oh, like right on the ball. I think we were talking about it recently when we were talking about working out and exercising and stuff. It's funny that I remember that, but I don't remember like our Manny twins or <laughs> I don't know. I remember random stuff, but I don't choose what to forget or what to remember. This was my brain. Five, two and a half. Get that extra inch on me, Janet. That's why I love platform shoes because, like, espadrilles that are flat and stuff. Um, anything that gives me height, but comfortable height, you know what I mean? That keeps my foot flat. They had discovered a check that I think I remember him telling me that was from me to Alec in the firm. And that they have discovered that since Fran and, and I have started walking and I'm going to be getting a um, gym membership, I um, use my Amazon um, money from my from the Amazon shopper panel. And I bought a pair of sneakers that were regularly $40. They were on sale for $31.40. And then I used my $10 towards it. So I got them for $21.40, which I thought was a good deal. It's a brand I never heard of, but I'll show you guys. I think they're cute, though. The style was one. I wanted something that was going to be good for walking. All right, hold on. Ah, see? They're not Nikes. They just say Air. But I love the colors, the navy with the rose pink. And then this thing actually, like, squishes down when I walk and stuff. <laughs> Um, and also, yeah, something, something the lining around the here, state, I don't know what that is, but the lining that, around here is super cushiony and, and soft. With, um, the state, and so, so, I thought that was a good deal because I spend like at yeah. least twice out on Nick's shoes and Dominic's shoes. At this point in time, still with a couple of months after the tractor murders of Maggie and Paul, you still very sensitive to your friends emotional so your oldest it was more like is more like your height tara your other daughter your middle daughter right or your second daughter is like in the middle of you guys and then your son got your husband's height it sounds like hi Britt. we were talking about how tall we are we all are 
I'm already done with my mani. I'm just waiting for it to dry. I use my neon pigments, but on black nails, so like you can't really tell. But I tried. This is a cosmic nails mani. I do. Tell me what that is. It is a very rudimentary, handwritten, scratched out promissory note that I asked Ellick to sign for me, which he did August 17th of 2021. Um, acknowledge You're five eight, eight you bitch. No, I'm just kidding. I'm only five one. Can you just give me spare like three inches? It sucks having to like ask people in the grocery store to get stuff down the sh from the shelves or in the store. Not that I go to the stores very often anymore, but or you gotta climb the shelves yourself, you know. Or like, I can't even see on top of my refrigerator. The other day, Nick was like, you got to clean on top of this fridge. It's dusty. I'm like, is it? Because I can't see up there. I don't know. <laughs> you climb the shelves, Janet? Ah, so you know what it's like. <laughs> Your brother is 6'5". Wow. Wow. So he... He'd be the person in front of me in the movie theater at a concert or something that I'd be getting mad at, blocking my view. <laughs> That's funny. So I was originally going to stamp on my black nail in either orange or green. But we decided to use the neon pigments. I was with a group of guys. I could not talk. Lee told me he could not talk. But the color didn't turn out as bright as I hoped. Can you guys see the color on there? I don't know how to react. Can you try to get in touch with Alex? I did. <laughs> I mean, I, I could do it. You love Lee being Lee. fun size. Well, he told me I needed to call him right back. I yeah, I guess it doesn't bother me. Nick likes that I'm petite, you know. But now I'm petite with a big fat belly. I, I don't know if I said this, guys, but if I didn't know for a fact I couldn't be pregnant, I seriously would think I was pregnant, like four or five months pregnant. Uh, Telling you when you gain when right you right get right. older and gain weight, it just doesn't go where you want it to. Up here and down here, it goes here. Like I don't even want to wear these kinds of shirts. All my t-shirts and long sleeve shirts are like fitted shirts. I don't even want to wear any of them because of my muffin top, you know. But at some point in time, I kept trying to get him, and we did talk later. What did you talk about? What day was that? Oh, this is from Cosmic Nails, Brett. These dips. Yeah, so Spooptacular is the um, chip glitter. The black is called um, Black Jack. And the green is Slimer, and it glows green. Tower 10 is my code to save at CosmicNails.com, as well as the Cosmic Nails Etsy shop. I should put some oil on. Let's see his meditate. We've been laughing a lot though today, so. That he was sorry, and. So what's going on with the um Follow Friday group? We're changing it to liking five accounts. Sharing five accounts that we like. Driving his direction. And eventually he called me back and said he would meet me. Ha <laughs> Damn coffee, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Patty says share coffee cakes and lattes. I know, I know, right? Hey, I also I also like to eat pork fried dumplings. Fried pork dumplings. Oh my god, that's like gonna be one of my favorite things in the world these days. So good. But you know what? Those coffee cakes give me heartburn. So I actually cut back on the coffee cakes. Instead of eating one box a day, I'm eating like half a box, maybe. I might have eaten six last night or something. I don't know. I was half asleep. I'll wake up in the middle of the night. I have the box next to me in bed on my nightstand, you know. 
I'll wake up Brooke in the middle of the night and eat one. And then Nick's oh. like, can you please get the crumbs out it's of the okay. bed? Like, like yeah, don't worry. I'm washing the sheets when today. Sorry about, sorry about that. <laughs> told me that he had had um, a drug problem, that he was addicted to opioids. Oh, you home today, Britt? And that what were you trying? For, oh, for the group, um, you mean. 20 or 20 plus years. You don't think it's working either? 20 years or so. My nails are uh, jelly tips. So right now I have uh, Luxie nails, uh, medium stiletto jelly tips on. So full coverage tips is what I use. And then dip powder. I do dip powder nails, which is a form of acrylic. It's just more finely milled. And there's some incredible glitters, foil dips, flaky dips. There's some amazing dips out there. <laughs> Ooh, we got Chipotle today again, Brett. Yum. I think this is the original of that $225,000 fee check written. You like the little Debbie Swiss rolls? I like Swiss rolls too. I go through phases. I, w I go through exactly. peanut butter cup phases, um, Jolly Rancher phases, just where I like to suck on Jolly Ranchers. Um, I've gone through, what else? Sour Patch Kids phases. My, my latte is not a phase. I just love lattes. <laughs> oh, pickle chips. Can't forget the pickle chips. I, that wasn't that long ago that all I was eating was dill pickle chips. So yummy, though. You going kayaking and hiking tomorrow? Oh, that sounds awesome. Who are you going to do that with, Brittany? Oh, I could even use my green sleeve today, you guys. I haven't really been able to use it. I used it with one nanny with a purple sleeve. Like I layered them. But maybe we'll use this one today. Let me get my clip. I mean, I asked him, how, you know, how, how did I not know these things or see these things? You know, and I told him. Like that? I think I'm going to use the green sleeve. Then I can promote it for Glormar. I went on her to Etsy to her shop. Looney Lou Designs to buy some fall nail free sleeves, and she only had one left. One one design, one type of sleeve left, and it wasn't the one I was looking for. I think I'll do black jewelry. A black jewelry? Let's see. Where'd you go after you left? I uh, rode through Hampton. Uh, we threw Hardee's and grabbed a, something for a bite of lunch on the road. And All right, finished, Manny, ladies. And if there's any gentlemen here. Else got out? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I hope you have a good time. I had stopped in my office in Bamberg where the post office. That'd be nice. <laughs> and, um, uh, or Patty will beat him up. <laughs> Okay, so these are all, like I said, Cosmic Nails products. Spooktacular is a chip litter. Super cool because you can file into those, and um, it's just the same color inside, so you have nothing to worry about when it comes to those. Um, and then we used Blackjack and Slimer as well. You can save a – oh, and Clear. <laughs> you can save a Cosmic Nails with my code, Tara10. Again, we use the uh, neon pigments. They don't really look very neon-y, but those are off of Amazon. Oh, you're in Chicago? I'm in Rhode Island. We're from all over, though. We got people from Ohio, Alabama, Oregon, Arizona, Wisconsin. We're from all over, <laughs> but I am here Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. You're watching the Daily Nail, my weekday Daily Nail show, and my name is Tara. So it's nice to meet you, Mona. Once or twice to which I respond. Guys, I'm going to end the video. I have to pee really bad. <laughs>
three coffees already today. So, yeah. Um, have a wonderful afternoon. I hope you guys have a good weekend. I hope we have a good weekend at Autumn Fest. <laughs> and the whole thing doesn't get rained out. But I'll be talking to you in chat. And um, thank you to all the new people who stopped by today. Hope to see you back here again. Um, Bye, guys. I don't know if I've ever seen that number before, but it's not the normal cell phone number that I would have used.